All right, welcome back to the One Bar in Lubbock. It's Sean One Bar. Jonathan Grenard is a Minnesota Viking, and the Vikings are on the board when it comes to free agency signings, and this is a big one. Jonathan Grenard, come on down, baby. Uh, hit that sub button. Hit that like button. We're going to try to get to 12,000 subs before the draft. We're going to be here all damn day talking Vikings, free agency, also going live at 5, so join us for that. I'm going to make this quick and dirty. We're just going to get to know Jonathan Grenard real quick. How he fits with the Vikings? Did we squash a need? But let's get to know this man. Uh, first off, we all know it. I'm just going to state the obvious. Daniel, he, he's filling Daniel Hunter's shoes. He's now edge rusher one, no doubt about it. Daniel Hunter is going to go get paid. The contract for Grenard is four years, seventy-six million dollars. So they're throwing out some cheddar. He was projected to be anywhere from like that sixteen million to twenty-one million for the year. He comes in a little less than that. So that's a win. That's a big win for a 26-year-old coming off of the best season of his career and really in his prime. I mean, he's only 26 years old. He's coming off a season where he played in 15 games, had a career best 12 and a half sacks, 52 tackles, 22 quarterback hits. And uh, really, he's been the staple of that Texan defense, defensive front for the since he's been in the league, former third rounder 2020. He has been a big part of that. He can get after the quarterback. He's very good against the run. He's a very well rounded edge rusher that generally sometimes you just see that one trick pony i mean that's, that was kind of my concern with like bryce huff that was always my thing with dj Wan, who dj Wan did get better nowhere about it but he, he's he's very well rounded you know what he might just get you 10 to 13 sacks a year so i love it D'Amico ryan's took Bernard, who is a very very good player and just elevated his game he just made him that much better and Grenard should be giving D'Amico ryan some of that cheddar because he helped him make a ton of this and if D'Amico ryan's can uh, help elevate his game. I'm pretty confident that Brian Flores can continue the trend or possibly make him even better. But at 26 years old, for the next four years, I fully expect him to be the face of this defense. I mean, we got a young defense. Hopefully, we're going to bring in a lot more players as free agency and the draft. And Grenard will be a big part of whether or not we succeed on the defensive side of the ball. I mean, when you look at the need itself, edge rusher, Andre Carter, Patrick Jones, that's really all we have right now. So to to I'm not going to say we squash the need because we haven't, but we put a big old dent in that thing by putting Grenard there. And now we can look at other positions and still possibly add some more guys in free agency at it. Obviously not as sexy, but then we still have those first uh the first round pick, second round pick where you can lay, look at the look at the Jared versus the Dallas Turners and round two guys, the Trices, and continue to build up on it because we still need help at edge. But this is wonderful. I love that they've made a big splashy one right out of the gate. So, Jonathan Grenard, come on down. You are a new Minnesota Viking. Expectations will be high for him, but I think he can consistently get you that 9, 13, 14 sacks, especially in this defense when they're blitzing. I don't know, 99.9% .9 of the time. Let's just hope we had a big guy up in front of him in free agency as well to help clear some room. But let me know in the comments. Jonathan Grenard, how do you grade it? Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know.